If you're thinking of some new shades for the summer, but you are overwhelmed with all the choices out there, style expert Katrina Zish is here to help. Good morning, Katrina. Good morning, Julie. Okay, first we have to figure out what shape face we have. Yes. There are four basic shapes. There are. What Usually are they? We're, we're square, we're oval, we're round, or heart-shaped. Okay. Some people fall within multiple categories, so keep that in mind. Okay, we're going to start out with our model, Amanda. Amanda, and yes. And she is a square shape. She's more of a square-shaped face, and so what you really want to focus on, she's wearing her splurge glasses here, you really want to try to make those angles a little bit softer. So look for something with a rounded edge, a little more detail on the side. We've got these pull back little her great, hair a exactly. Bit. We've got these great details on the temple here, a little gold detail. That makes her face look rounder and softer. So also these, something that sits a little higher on the face. And you can see even the glasses are shaded a bit at the top, so that draws the eye up and ah. gives you more of, you're, you're kind of playing with the geometry here. Okay, so this is the Christian Dior Splurge 300 and... Yes, $345. Let's see the steel version. We have a steel version as well that has a very similar look. These also sit high on the face. These are Mark by Mark Jacobs. And they're about $98. And again, you can see that we're looking for something. The shading is still there. They're sort of wider on her face. They're a little more broad. We don't want something that sits too low on the face. Again, you don't want to accentuate that square shape. Look for things with subtle curves. I like the steel version more on there, <laughs> not just because of the price. All right, our next uh, John Jay. John Jay. John Jay is our round face. All right. And what we really want to look for is you want to try to look for something a little more architectural, a little bit more angular. And this aviator is really good because it really has that straight line across the top. So you're breaking up the round shape of the face with an angle. Okay, this is the $500 Marc Jacob version. $495, you okay, got it. Okay, save yep. $5. Let's <laughs> Five see. bucks, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Every and, the steel, and the steel version is Armani Exchange for $70, also an aviator style. This looks great on her too because you don't have to have something as extreme as that white band. All right. Again, I think I like the steel version uh -huh. better. Our next model is um, Cara, Cara with an oval face. Yes. Oval faces are lucky. Cara, Cara's very lucky because <laughs> most glasses look great on an oval face. And we really want to focus on kind of keeping the glasses fitting in so they're not wider than the widest part of the face. And these Miu Miu glasses do that perfect thing. They also have a focal point where a lot of the glasses cover sort of the center of the face, and that helps from keeping the face looking too long. We only have 30 seconds left, so let's see the steel version. Let's see the steel real quick. These are Banana Republic, $98, kind of the classic Wayfarer look, kind of like Tom Cruise from uh, Risky Business. She looks great in everything. <laughs> she looks All right, great, thank you. She? All right, heart-shaped face, crystal. crystal. Heart shape, like a little bit like Reese Witherspoon. And you really want to focus on kind of drawing attention away from the chin. And this bright color glass does a great job. You want broader bottoms to kind of, again, balance out the narrow chin. And these uh, Dior 295 are the splurge. Well, let's see the steel version Let's see the steel. Crystal. $98, Juicy Couture, playing a little bit with the heart shape here, with the heart shape glasses, which I love. And these are great because the heart shape at the top really draws the eye up, takes it away again from the chin. You're playing with balance here.